Today is the fourth annual Atlanta Street Food Festival, and um, it's in the historic Piedmont Park in Atlanta. We've got more than 50, I think we've got 60 food trucks, and everybody is just out here to have a good time and enjoy some fun food. The festival benefits the Giving Kitchen, um, which offers uh, help and support to people that are in the culinary industry that uh, have unexpected hardships. I mean, I love it. It's like. It's not that expensive, you get to try like different foods all the time. I think it's fresher because they have to prepare it like right then and there because they don't have enough space to just have stuff lined up. The homemade nature of it, you know, they just cook it right there in the truck and you know you're not, you're not eating it five minutes after they've cooked it. Fresh, fast and reasonable. That's If you just do that, the food's fresh, it's delicious, you can offer it at a better price than most places that have a brick and mortar. My wife and I quit our jobs five years ago, uh, opened up our kitchen, bought our first truck, bought our second truck uh, a year later, and haven't looked back in five years. We're a scratch-made macaroni and cheese truck. We basically make homemade mac and cheese and put a bunch of yummy stuff on top. Each of my food trucks today will probably serve about a thousand people, plus, hopefully. We started doing the food trucks thing about four years ago, um, and we wanted to take what we do at our stores to the streets and instead of sitting there waiting on people to come into the store, we wanted to take our concept to the people. People come together, they're outside, they're talking, it's kind of like sidewalks. You know, you can sit in your house all day and never meet your neighbor, or you can come to a food truck and converse with the person next to you. It gives you that sort of like being at a cookout feel, but not quite. It's reasonable and you know, all about supporting small business as well. I like to say we're in the business of making people happy. And that's why we do crepes it's and bistro food. Our, our most popular crepe is what we're showing here. It's a classic around the world. It's Nutella banana. Uh, we use organic ingredients in our crepes. And of course, Nutella is, is, a, is a classic combination. And banana goes really well with it. It's organic bananas as well. Um, it's fast. The, the quality of food truck food has never been better. And the selection is, is just great. We've been to Texas Tacos, Small Cakes. I definitely saw like a crepe truck right there that I definitely want to try out. Um, there's the Bollywood truck. There's just so many. I know there's some margarita truck around here that we're going to find too. <laughs> so This is amazing, this food festival, because although we have small uh, food trucks in the UK, about half the size of each of these, we've never seen more than two or three together at one time. Here in Atlanta, it's just blowing up. We went uh, four years ago, there were 10 trucks, and uh, this year I think there's upwards of 80 trucks running in Atlanta. You know, it's just a way for chefs to kind of be able to do their own thing and put a little flair on it without having to be in one place. Look at this, you see the crowds, you see the food, you see the people, you can smell it in the air. Like, Southern cooking is nothing better than that. People are mostly surprised that Atlanta's kind of a, a good place for food, different, different types of food, but um, I like the different kinds of restaurants you can get, and for different price points too. The big chains are trying to, uh, you know, get in on the food truck thing, but the people in just the food truck community are kind of off about it because you have your restaurant, we're trying to do our things. People don't come out to these festivals to eat off of Olive Garden trucks and Willie's and it's just not what they're looking for, I think, as a general rule. When they come to a street food festival, I think they want something they can't normally just sit down and eat anywhere. In this day and age, it's always great to be, you know, mobile and be able to get up and go. Well, people like to grab things on the go, and they like to get different, a feel of different things. So I think that's what it is, getting the variety and getting on the go. It's kind of a creative way to take eating to a new level. Um, instead of going to a restaurant, you can just post up and a lot of them have like trailer parks and it's just a different kind of dining experience. Just make fresh food, delicious, sell it for a fair price. I guess if that's trendy, that's what we're all trying to do. We uh, keep the good times rolling. We're just very laid back people. We just like to serve good food with a smile. <laughs> <laughs>